with always 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 what's up sun seeds what's up this your girl mystic sunflower i'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading it doesn't matter what your sign is sun seeds for this message to resonate just please make sure you're using discernment sun seeds take what resonate and leave the rest behind okay um sun seeds i'm picking up on the um i'm trying on an energy where somebody is upset with you somebody is feeling some type of way because um divine is removing someone out your life or currently um this person's already removed out your life because this person has nasty habits okay it's something about this person where like this this person can't sit next to you they have something about their habits is very nasty so i don't know i don't know what kind of habits are, those are but let's let's check <clears throat> I don't know if this person doesn't mean me well. Maybe there's some type of habits that they have just on their own that they need to work on. I don't know. But somebody feels some type of way because um, divine is removing or blocking this person from your energy because, because of some type of nasty habits. I heard. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy from my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light. Please close and shut that door. Archangel Michael is here. Holy Spirit, Divine, what's this energy I'm picking up on? Please and thank you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> See? Cannot make it up. Oh, oh my goodness. Sun seeds, crown chakra. Okay. With envy. So this person envies your intuition. Okay. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they envy your, your intuition. Um, you have a spiritual enlightenment, you being um, you being spiritually guided, you know, your wisdom, your knowledge. Your crown chakra, it bothers this person. This person envies how intuitive you are. Yeah, that's why I heard. As soon as I got on, I was channeling spirit and saying something about uh, whoever's being removed from your energy or being blocked from your energy is because they have nasty habits. Of course they do. They envy. They can't sit with you. Spirit don't want this person to sit with you because they truly envy you. This person was trying to put on, but they envy you. Someone envy how intuitive you are. Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael under the bottom with twin flame. Ooh, child. Somebody could have been a false twin flame. Wow. This person could be envying how happy you are. I'm hearing this person pretends that they support you, but they don't. Wow. Wow. Whoever this person you had a relationship with, twin flame soulmate, um, false twin flame, because I won't say twin flame, I'm going to say false twin flame, heart chakra, blame, and relationship. This person blames you. Whoever this person is, not only are they still in love with you, but they blame you. They blame you because this person feels some type of attachment to you. They, they feel like they can't get over you. And somebody feels like you, you, you know, you're happy, you know, you're doing good. And they envy that, son seeds. They envy that. That's why spirit is saying they got nasty habits. Yeah, listen to your intuitive feelings. I'm hearing you. Wow. Wow, Spirit said this person's ego got hurt, so they're triggered. And it's wow, so it turned into envy, Spirit. Somebody, somebody, um, um, uh, somebody ego got bruised and, and they're triggered. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're growing, you're growing without them. 
This person blames you for still having some type of with heart chakra blame and relationship for still having some type of feelings for you. That's not your fault. Ooh, child, sun seeds. Somebody feels like you get to celebrate. You get to be happy without them. Wow. Your body, your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine at this time. Okay. So you feel something. Do not try to block it out. Don't try to ignore it. It is what it is. Okay. About whoever this individual is. <clears throat> somebody envies your true divine guidance that you got from um somebody envies um your guidance that you get from the divine they envy your, your, your wisdom your spiritual enlightenment you knowing what you know you knowing to pull back not deal with this person this person envies you for that they envy you for knowing that they have some type of nasty um habits or attachments. And they blame you for still having feelings for you. Wow. Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. Please and thank you. Yes. This crown chakra. I'm just keep looking at it. Sunsies. Your higher consciousness to the divine. It bothers this person. I just heard this person is wicked. Oh, lovers, high honor, and journey. You know, my high honor is my ancestry card. Hmm. You can't be with this person because you're held in high honor, which is to your ancestors and the divine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you was led to go on on his journey to end this cycle out with the ten beat on this card to go a whole nother direction with the um lovers to make a choice. Ooh. Yeah, it's like this whoever this person is, they could be in poverty and want to you know um use you or or um take from you. Um, the spirit is like no, yeah, first person. First person in courtship with great fortune. House. Yeah, somebody wants to it's, it's like somebody want to attach themselves to you because because of um your great fortune and house. It gives me like the four wands. It gives me stability. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants to commit me because because somebody's stability. Your house also can mean your body, your temple. You know, it's like like somebody wants to transfer, yeah, deep. <laughs> Deep instead of well, like somebody wants to transfer their bad karma onto you while they while they attach to um while they attach and take your good attach to you and take your good karma. Thank you, spirit. Oh child. Yeah, force room and family room. Uh, family room for me is like the high priestess. It's it's secrets. Okay. This person has a lot of secrets about them. Okay. This person I'm um, possibly gonna message you. The spirit is saying, listen to your intuitive uh, feelings at this time. Somebody, somebody, um, somebody envies your crown chakra, your higher consciousness to the divine. And they blame you with the heart chakra, blaming relationship. This person blames you for how they feel about you. Yeah, message. With seven on the top of this card, it's giving me completion. <clears throat> Something could be happening Sunday as well. Give me more Holy Spirit. But some of you guys... Something about Sunday and also when you wake up, there's... Um, I'm getting like, oh, um, when you wake up, somebody's going to see this message from someone. It could be this reading right here, or it's going to be a message from this person. So take that how it resonates. Toil and labor. Three and eight, breaking down to um, 11. 
with nine. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody feels like they got it hard. They got it rough. And you don't. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wealthy man, child, and um, expectation. Wealthy man, child, and expectation. Somebody... What... This game, somebody could have been trying to trap someone, trying to trap someone with a baby or wanted to trap someone with a baby to attach themselves to someone. What's this toy you in labor, Holy Spirit? Toy you in labor? Toy you in labor? Occupation and great fortune. Wow. Somebody feels like, whoever this person is um, that's going to message you, this person feels like they got to work hard for what they got and you don't. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody wants some type of help. What's the message? Message is clear if I were the community. So this could be a community of people. <clears throat> people could be feeling like they got to work hard. Something with the occupation, great fortune, something come to you very easily or very effortlessly. Somebody feels like you don't have to work hard. I'm hearing whoever this person is, they're not getting any sleep. What's the community? Yeah, because I heard earlier, wicked. So, okay, so no rest for the wicked. What's the community card, Holy Spirit? Community. Whoever this person, yeah, despair. Somebody is in despair. Whoever this person is, community. This could be uh people community and occupation could be people you work with. It could be family. It could be somebody who you um had a family with. Take it how it resonates. But somebody's in this field. Mm hmm Somebody feels like they gotta work hard and you don't have to work hard. Somebody who whoever this person is that has feelings for you is is in a toxic way. That's what Spirit said earlier when I first got on to this, um, you know, got to my table when I was channeling. Spirit said something about this person's habits is nasty. Yeah, they can't sit with you. House and gift. Whatever's being gifted to you from the divine is for you. Oh, shit. What's up, seeds? Yeah, somebody needs to grow up. They need to grow up for real. Okay? But they're not. They blame you. Somebody feels like no matter what they do, they feel like they can't get over you. Do I want to use these cards? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's use these cards. Let's see. I just heard that you like the like this person gets a high off your energy. Mm-hmm. Off your energy exchange. Wow. So while this person talking to you, being next to you, being close to you, this person gets like a high off of that. Oh, Holy Spirit, give me more. Give me more. Somebody feel like they can't help the way they feel about you. And they blame you with the with the heart shock or blame you. And they blame you for dissing yourself. Yeah, they blame you. With motherly love. A motherly love and present build a foundation for a child, emotional well-being and trust. Maybe this your, your love is very nurturing. Definitely, you know. I'm picking up on my empress and empress, but definitely my empress. You're, you know, empress, you, you know, your love is very nurturing, caring. It makes this person feel safe. Maybe this person um, with the motherly love, maybe this person didn't get that from their mom. Let's see. Somebody could be pregnant and expecting. 
I just heard first child. Somebody's pregnant with their first child. Congratulations, Sunseeds. Congratulations. fix that so I see. yeah i just heard somebody could be pregnant with their first child congratulations thank you spirit yes okay it says stability it is important to live with love provide security and maintain maintain consistency something about your stability sun seeds because i told you what we seen earlier um that house it could be the house that give me like the four wands, your stability, I said. And it also give me like your temple, which is your body. Yeah, it says it's important to live with love, provide security, and maintain consistency. Somebody knows that you're stable. Um, ooh, confirmation. This person knows that you're stable. Your heart chakra. This person knows that you're very loving. Okay. Somebody knows that you have built a solid foundation um, for yourself. Um that you can provide security, you know, with you know, to whoever's attached to you. It 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 bothers this person. It really does. Cause this person, um, I feel like it's something that this person didn't get at and you know in their early ages or in their upbringing. And for you, you do it for this person. So by you not wanting so you so just imagine giving somebody putting somebody like you in someone's life like this, and then you being guided with the crown chakra, okay, because of your higher consciousness with the divine, you being guided to listen to your intuitive feelings about this energy, you know, you 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 just being you being you being your natural self is being envied uh, by this person. And you just being yourself, but at the same time, it's like this person feels like they need what you what you provide, they need that. They love that about you with the heart chakra, they love that about you. Okay, and they blame you for this relationship. They blame you for the attachment. But Spirit has said something about their habits is nasty. They're being blocked from your energy. They can't come. They cannot. They cannot. Okay, and yeah, from scratch. So something about your stability that you built from scratch. Mm. It says from scratch, make it some, make it something from nothing. Create without any ingredients or or minerals prepared ahead of time. So maybe you're a great cooker. <laughs> maybe you're a great cooker. You know, you make your stuff, you make your stuff from scratch. Um, but I feel like it's also giving me like um not a pinnacles energy, um, independent, so um self-sufficient, hard working, whatever you working on, whatever you do, you build that by yourself, okay, without any help of no one else. And spirit sees something about this person. It's like somebody that's saying, you know what? I ain't got no way to live right now. You know, I'm really bad and I'm really doing out. I'm I'm really bad and I'm 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 really bad and I'm um I'm really down and out. And you being who you are, spirit know how loving you are, you will help this person. But spirit like, uh uh, pump your brakes. Pump your brakes because the same person that's asking you for help envies you. How you gonna be in somebody home, okay? And you envy them. That's the house card. How you gonna be in somebody home, but you envy them? You 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 happy that they helping you out, giving you a helping a, a helping hand, but you really giving them the side eye in their house because you jealous of what they have. You jealous of what they build. Just imagine the house. Also, like I said, could be the, your temple, your body. Somebody literally. Putting their body on your body, sleeping with you, but they envy you. But they they got they got a hidden agenda. The only reason why I'm sleeping with this person, I need some of that energy. I need some of that energy. I need some of that good look. I need I need some of that for myself. Spirit said, hell no. Had to the no. Yeah. Fatherly protection is shine. Somebody can have a, a, a father that's protected them in heaven. Or if not, this can just be like an older um a older relative in your family. Maybe this could be an uncle of yours or um, somebody who's a father figure of yours. They, 
I mean, listen, whoever this person is, they very present in your life, uh, whether it's um, physically or not. Energetically, this person is around, okay? And they like held to the no. It says shine and fatherly protection. Shine and fatherly protection, yes. Somebody is protecting you. If a lot of you guys, if you doesn't resonate with, you know, a passed over love, a passed over father or uncle or this could even be your grand, your grandfather, somebody's grandfather. For a lot of you guys, it can be just God protecting you from this energy, period. And somebody does not like that. They don't like that the divine guides you. They don't like the fact that when God tell you to go this way, you go this way. Somebody wants you to be, listen to them with that child card. It gets like somebody wants you to be naive, you know? Somebody just wants you to listen to them. And with the fatherly and the motherly love, this person could have, you know, some type of abandonment issues when it comes to, when it comes to their parents. And then they met someone like you. But they treated you poorly. You're not their mother. You're not their father. They need to heal themselves. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably gone through certain issues, um, you know, with, with parents of yours. You healed yourself. And this person needs to do the same thing. No. This person could be very emotional at this time. But somebody, if this person's parents abandoned them, they blame you like, oh, child. They blame you like they blame their parents. That's crazy. Heart chakra blame in relationship. Somebody, somebody feels like you abandoned them. Wow. Yeah, you got a motherly love, son Steve. You have a your, your motherly love, the way how you show up, the how nurturing, how caring you are, how you take care of people. Um, some of you guys, um, it's not your just you know, your children or you know, it is it, it's a community of children, you know, um anybody, you know. Somebody they, they see you as giving me emperors, they see you as that, you know. Some of you guys, it just comes to you naturally. You just like, <laughs> you're the mama bear. It comes to you naturally. But someone, you know, they love that part about you, but they also envy you as well. They feel like you're supposed to accept them with a toxic, nasty attachment as if you truly birthed them. This is a grown person I'm talking about. Shine. Again. Yeah, teach, guide children, and store valuable life and academic lessons in them. You could be a teacher, or you could be a teacher to the community, to it, you know, to children overall. And a lot of you guys, it's not even just children; it's just anybody that comes into you know your your energy field, your presence. You always guiding them, you know. Give them, giving them that nurturing love, teaching them what they need to know. Because with the crown chakra, listen to your intuitive feelings. I'm talking to someone who's very tapped in. Third eye intuition. They have a, you know, a gift of foresight, a higher consciousness. You can lead. You can lead an army just by off your wisdom and your knowledge. Very nurturing. From scratch, just they look like she making like um baking something. You know, you clean them up. You cook for them. You make sure you make sure people get, you know get food. You have a home. You're very welcoming. You make room for everybody. Yeah, it's like somebody blames you for that. It, but this this has nothing to do with um. This has everything to do with somebody's upbringing, and you gave them that, but they envy you for that. So spirit is like, no, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling Mystic Sunflower Collector Sunseed. I'm pulling them up out of this person's life. Courage, keep it, um, keep preserving your culture and traditions, which have been passed down from generations as a valuable legacy. Mm. A lot of people learn from you, sun seeds. Okay, whether you're aware of it or not, but stability from scratch. I just heard Poncho. 
<laughs> wow. I just heard Poncho. Somebody can have um, a male relative named Poncho. Wow. I just heard Poncho. Ooh, somebody relative is like, heck no. Yeah, cards on the table. Maintain honesty and openness with others to force the truth and understanding in your relationships. Somebody could be a card player or they come from a family that played a lot of cards or likes to gamble or... Um, yeah. I feel like whoever you are, you're very open, you're very honest. Um, somebody just attached to you. You push the truth. It's like... Thank you, Spirit. You feel like home to this person. They don't like the fact that you pulled away. Oh, child. You feel like home. But this is not a home where this person got, they, they got, they got from their upbringing. It's like what they wanted, you gave them that. But they envy you. Spirit is like, no, I'm taking it away. We have fish fry. A relaxed gathering of loved ones, acquaintance. I'm sorry, a relaxed gathering of loved ones and acquaintance joining together to indulge in some delicious fried fish. <laughs> so maybe you guys, uh, maybe your, uh, your ancestors or your family love fried fish. Okay. I know I love me some um, catfish. I used to like tilapia until I found out what they put in it. I was like, oh, hell to the no. And then growing up, I really didn't even like fish at all because I grew up off of whiteies and I didn't, I couldn't, I was like, heck, I don't like any fish. I don't, if it got bones in it, I will not eat it. I'd be like, how can y'all eat that? And it's not going to get stuck through your throat. Like, <laughs> but I found out about catfish and they had no bones in it. And I was like, oh yes, I love that. Somebody could be a hunter or somebody could like, um, like to fishing. Or make you, maybe you make some good fish that this person loves. Somebody ancestors could be wanting some fish too. <laughs> we have hunter. One adorable trait of the hunter is their um, constant villages waiting for the perfect moment to strike with patience and presence. Ooh, be careful. That's why spirit moved you from this person. Somebody could be waiting to get close to you, get back around you so they can strike you. What? That's why Spirit said, listen to your intuitive feeling. This person envies you. Yeah, po ooh, police. When interacting with those paid to serve and protect communities, be wary of the bias they may have. Mm, I ain't even going to get into this. I'm um, going to read it again. Police, when interacting with those paid to serve and protect communities, be wary of the bias they may have. So maybe somebody might have trouble with, um, maybe you feel like a police officer wasn't fair to you or you feel like something about the justice system wasn't fair. Okay. But, um, or this, whoever this person is, they could be going to definitely um, jail. Um, if it's not jail in the 3D, it's definitely with the police cars giving spiritual jail as well. Yeah, black eyed peas. So I feel like whoever you are, you feed people good. When they come around you, your home is beautiful. People feel safe. But this person envies you for all your stability. It says black eyed peas. Traditionally, black eyed peas are eaten on New Year's Day to bring prosperity, abundance, and good fortune. Whoever you are, somebody is seeing you as very prosperous and very abundant. Somebody could be jealous of, you know, your, your inheritance, you know, your great fortune that, you know, that was passed down from your ancestors. Education, pastor. Somebody is definitely a, a teacher or a leader. And somebody envies that. Ooh, they envy that. You're a, pre a prayer warrior. Practice praying for others. To cultivate mindfulness and compassion, accept and understanding for others. Somebody is a prayer warrior. 
Somebody's a prayer warrior. Whoever this person is, I don't think they know who they're messing with. Or maybe they do already because they could be... This, I wouldn't be surprised if this person getting karma with this police being out here with this hunter. Because whatever they thought that they had planned and they was going to do in the 3D and thinking that, oh, nobody's going to see them. They don't, your ancestors is on somebody's behind. Okay? God see everything. He sits high and look low. He knew this person's attention. That's why he told you to listen to your into, your intuitive feelings and not deal with this person with these nasty habits because they envy you. God already forewarned you. That's your higher your, your, your um your higher consciousness to the divine. You already be you on you gonna know firsthand. And somebody does not like that. They envy that you know their hidden motives. You know right away. They don't like that. Somebody want to come in and steal your stability, eat off of you. They want to eat your food, live in your house, steal your stability. Wait, like, come on. Uh-uh. Celebrations. Taking time to appreciate people while they're with us will create lasting memories that can be shared for years. So you guys could be celebrating, you know, with family or friends or some of you guys, um, Maybe your past over loved ones could be calling you to do that, you know, um, to appreciate the people that, you know, you still have in your life. Um, if you feel called and led to, okay, I just want to make that clear. If you feel called and led to, um, you know, just create and lasting memories that can be shared for years. Somebody, I'm looking, somebody got a, somebody has a, a, um, a team, a, a, you know, a, a team of, Praying warriors. I'm hearing it's, it's somebody in your family that prays for you. Mm -hmm. I feel like whoever this person is, they still alive. They pray for you a lot. That's for someone I'm hearing. Um, justification, find ways to contribute to causes by volunteering your time, sharing your knowledge or using your voice. Wow. Yeah. Somebody, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, you is in high honor. This high honor. Justification, find ways to contribute to, cause, to causes by volunteering your time, sharing your knowledge or using your voice. Yeah. Somebody, uh, uh, somebody came for the wrong one. You was, you are uh, definitely held. Look, I can't even make it up with honors. You held in high honor. And you know when I'm looking at this right here, um, I had um, uh, I had called my mom and I asked her for my yearbook. Now mind you, it's been years since I've been at high school, and I was I want to see if she still had it because I wanted to go. I wanted to just you know I just wanted to have my own yearbook in my house, and she said she still have it. I. I, I went to go get it, and you know I, I'm just plumbing through the pages, and I'm look. I found I found my picture. I found my name. You know, I, as I already told y'all, my nickname is Coco, and you know it asks you your nickname, and then it asks you what you want to be when you grow up. And under my picture, it said that I wanted to be. A, I said I wanted to be a lawyer. When I was young, I always used to say I want to be a lawyer. Like, <laughs> like I always was big on justice. I always was big on fairness, and I used to always watch. Certain people around me, like, they just, they never really, like, they never would, like, they wouldn't speak up. Like, and I always was that one, like, like, I feel like, oh, you, oh, no, that's not right what you did. Like, <laughs> that's why my, my family was like, i right, get her out of here. She got to go. Uh, I don't want to deal with it because I'm always like, why is this? I want to know why, why this happened. Why can't I know this? What like uh uh you can't just tell me something and I'm just gonna be quiet. I wanna know why, you know? <laughs> but anyway, so somebody could be a lawyer watching me. But this picture, I'm the way how I just standing out, like I was reading my, my yearbook. <clears throat> and I surely did. I wanted to be a lawyer. But yeah, with the um justification and high honor, uh somebody held in high honor. No, you cannot, you can't, somebody could also be an artist. You could be an artist, express your culture through art and bring attention to your craft and talent. You guys can definitely be artists. Maybe you guys love hair, you love painting, you love drawing, you love fashion. <laughs> somebody also could be like a tattoo artist. 
Yeah. Somebody, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They it, it it would be hard. It would be too hard. And it and and because this person blaming you and not meaning you well with this envy, they done got themselves caught up in in some um I'm I'm here in spiritual jail. Or somebody could be going to jail in 3D. Because whoever I'm picking up on, you're held in high honor. Yeah, somebody came for the wrong one. No, 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 no. Not you. I'm hearing not you. Not you. Somebody also with this fish and it's from scratch, a black eyed pea. Somebody miss your cooking. Mm-hmm. Somebody loves how warm your home is, how comfortable it is. Thank you, Spirit. How comfortable it is. I, I when I look at this, I'm just getting mama bear. Like big mama. Mama bear. Everybody know big mama in the family, you know, cook, cook, you know, you go to big mama house, you eat good, you know, you can have long conversations with, you know, big mama without being judged, you know, very, it's like a safe haven. It feels so good. Yeah. Eight of wands, something about communication. Spirit is like, that's that message card. I feel like whoever this person is, that's going to message you. Their spirit like, nope, mm -mm, block them. Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, something, wow, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could be going to like a party or a gap and they could be celebrating. This could, um, you could be having, you know, spending some fun time with your family or, or you know, just deciding to go away and do something. But with the three of cups, the nine of pentacles, to the um, three of pentacles, somebody is definitely being guided. Um, whoever this person is that wants to like um, work with you, I feel like it's something that you're doing on your own, Sun Seeds. That's going to, you know, um, now you could be collaborating with people. You could be working with people. Um some type of craft you have, something that you're doing, um, you definitely um, could be trying, you know, mastering that, putting a lot of hard work, or your hard work could be definitely paying off right now with the Ace of Pentacles being here. But I, I feel like you could definitely be uh, partnering with others or considering that Nine of Pentacles, or this could be how people see you, Three of Cups to the Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. keep hearing celebration so maybe you guys going on a celebration maybe you guys could be definitely celebrating what you know Kylie's um you some type of celebration you doing you know you with the nine of pentacles you just single <laughs> self-sufficient independent um you know somebody who works really hard on a business um a boss and maybe you might be, you know, taking a little time off from work and going out to celebrate, you know, with people. With the Ace of Pentacles being here. Give me more Holy Spirit. Three of Cups. Three of Cups energy. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Swords. So my Spirit is also saying, prepare for somebody to come rushing in that wants to reconcile with you. Okay, this person feels like you can save them. Somebody, somebody feels like you. Maybe you saved this person before in the past. Okay, maybe you helped this person in some way in the past before. Okay, they coming in for your help again. Give me a card on the Knight of Swords. Thank you. Two of Cups. This who of this person is that wants heart shock or blame in relationship. They want a relationship with you. They want to be connected to you with the moon card. Um, Knight of Pentacles. They want to be connected to you again, like how things used to be. But with the Knight of Pentacles and the moon card to the death card, Cancer Pisces energy, Scorpio energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Be wary of somebody trying to connect to you because of your fortune. I'm telling you, sun seeds. Okay? Somebody trying to connect to you because of your stability. Give me a card on the two of cups. Here to say this person envies you. And they hide it very well. 
the hermit. To the six of wands, you guys could have been in solitude, <clears throat> you know, meditating a lot, detoxing from things that no longer serve you anymore. Okay, with the six of wands coming out shining. <laughs> this person sees you as um very successful. Um, you know, someone who's a leader. They feel like you're getting you're getting some type of victory. But with the hermit, it's giving me the hermit to the six of wands. It's, it's giving me an energy of you, you know, you moving in silence. You move in silence. Virgo energy. Somebody, I just heard somebody feels like you're very sweet. What's the hermit? Ooh. Yeah, the high friend Taurus energy. Somebody feels like you remind them of home. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever this person beliefs are, whatever their tradition are, they feel like... They feel like that's how a woman's supposed to be or that's how a man's supposed to be. You know, somebody sees you as the whole package, but they don't... Mm. Yeah, high priestess. Ooh, child. The high friend, the high priestess, and the hermit with the two of swords to the queen of cups, the ten of wands. Yeah, some of you guys feel like it's too much of a burden to deal with this. Ten of wands, queen of cups, and the two of swords. It's like somebody, um, somebody want to have you stuck as a stillmate. That could be the reason why you've been in hermit, just minding your business, moving in silence. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles is clarified with the death card. You could have went through a spiritual transformation or renewal with the death card. Ten of Cups. Yeah. You could have gone through something. Um, you could have definitely went through a death and rebirth. And you came out happy. You know, you happy. You're enjoying your life. Some of you guys, like I said, you could be going out now, ready to celebrate after being a hermit for a while. Okay? But you're moving in silence. Yeah, six of wands. Six of wands to the king of wands. <laughs> Somebody feel like you get a lot of attention. Now, to the cups, this also could be in regards to somebody's family as well. Okay? What's the ten of cups? I feel like there's a community of people that's in despair. Page of Cups. This is about a younger and a page. What's the Page of Cups? Page of Cups. Thank you. King of Cups. Whoever this person that has feelings and, and emotions for you, they're very immature. Page of Cups to the King of Cups. It, it, it definitely gives me an apology. Somebody wants to come in to apologize. But Spirit is saying this person... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't trust this person. That's all I'm going to say. They coming in with an apology, but Spirit is saying, don't trust this person because whoever this person is, they're still very immature. And they coming from a, it just give me like a malice, please. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles to the Moon card. Uh-uh. Whatever they working on in secret behind your back with this Hunter card, okay? Whatever they, it, it, it's not going to prosper. Whoever this person is waiting for the, the, the perfect time to get close to you or for you to get, you to let them in, to get comfortable with you, uh, to strike you. And this also could be somebody that wants to come around like, you know, let's celebrate, let's hang out, let's have a good time, you know, like how we used to do before, you know, or or, or just somebody who's trying to wind you, wind you, wind you up to get you to feel like, you know, let's celebrate, everything is okay. But then as soon as they, the moment they get close to you, they strike. Oh, sure. I feel like you guys with the, the high friends to the high priestess, you could be someone who's very spiritual. This person could be very traditional. Okay. Maybe you guys beliefs, you know, uh, you guys that have uh, religious factors could have played a major part in this connection. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're very spiritual, the high priestess, to the crown chakra, to the envy. This person doesn't like how spiritual you are. And this whoever this person is with the high friend, this person, Pisces, Taurus energy, this person is very traditional. Wow. And you were, and this is, I ain't even gonna get, 
this person is very traditional and this person wants to come and strike a high priestess, hurt a, a high priestess, get close to them to rob a high priestess, envy a high priestess, but this person is traditional. Oh, okay. The hermit. That's why you were hermit. Oh, 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 okay. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. Spirit said, uh-uh. With the page of cups to the, the king of cups, whoever this person is, water, whoever this cancer Pisces Scorpio is, this person is childish. They're childish, okay? Mm-mm. The seven of pentacles or the moon call, whatever they're working on in secret. Oh, no. We got Virgo, Pisces, Taurus. Heavy on a Pisces, though. You could be a Pisces, Sun Seeds. You're very intuitive, like, mm-mm. The death card. Scorpio out here twice. Pisces out here three times. The hermit. The moon card, Cancer Pisces. Who child? The lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, the lovers of the five of pentacles. Somebody wants your help because somebody is in, somebody is in poverty. And this person trying to figure out a way to come out of that. Somebody's a thief. Yeah, four cups. Yeah, ace of wands. Ace of cups. Yeah, this four cups. Listen, the will of fortune. The will don't change. Spirit said this person, whoever this person is that daydreams about you all the time, that feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. And somebody who's a who's trying to like with this hunter card, somebody is trying to like um make a plan or or work on something with the seven of pentacles and the moon card, work on something in secret, how to how to get back close to you, how to, you know, wind you up, you know, celebrate with you, ask you out, possibly, you know, they this person is trying to get back on your good grace, getting your good graces so they can strike. But Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Spirit said you got new love. You got new love. You got a, a new passion beginning. Okay. Um, you could expect a lot of good news at this time. Ooh, confirmation. The will of fortune is here. The will of fortune to the temperance. Yes. Yes. Something is happening in divine timing. Divine timing. Good luck is on your side, Sun Seas. Good luck. Knight of Cups to the Empress. <laughs> Spirit said, Spirit said, you got a love offer that's coming in. That's why Spirit is like, uh-uh, this person got to go because you about to be celebrating. Three of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles to the three of Cups. Somebody not about to be single no more. Somebody about, you about to be. So if you was a hermit, you know, and you haven't been going out, you haven't been hanging out, Spirit is like, all of that's about to be over. You and your new boo. <laughs> Y'all about to be hanging out, celebrating, going out to eat, going out to dancing. You guys are going to be having fun. Fun, fun, fun. Festivals, parties, gatherings. Okay. Okay. All right, Empress Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's a love offer that's coming in for you. Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands with the Will of Fortune. Yes, you have, you have, you look. You on the good side of karma and somebody else is not, okay? Ooh, you know what? Spirit said this person trifling. <laughs> What's going to have a card on a hunter? Ooh, child. Somebody's sibling could be jealous. What's the four of pentacles? Four of pentacles. Who have, the hunter was clarified with the four pentacles. Whoever this person is that wants to hold on to you because of greed, materialism, materialistic, but it says materialism on here. Um, this person is very possessive and they want to hold on to you. The world card, because the cycle is over with. Three of wands. Yeah, this is you looking to new, you moving ahead. Justice, I'm telling you, justice to the hangman. Somebody could be definitely dealing with legal issues with that police car, but the spirit is saying you on the good side of karma, and as poor as this person is, they're on the bad side of karma. Somebody is about to somebody came for you when they you uh uh they shouldn't did it. Somebody don't know who somebody don't know who you are in the spiritual realm. I'm telling you, this person think it's a game. I don't know who this I don't I don't know who this should traditional this person is just uh listen 
Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-uh. This person coming to someone, a high priestess, with bad intentions, want to rob from them, want to take from them. And you think that's it, right? With the divine? Justice? A high priestess is like walking karma. Okay, divine will send, uh, send somebody like this person on a, a high priestess path because it's time for you to get karma and knowing that you don't mean them no good and that'll be the right one to serve you up. Ooh, a true high priestess will be the right one to serve you up. And this is the year of karma. Why is people playing out here? Page of swords. You know what? What's the justice card? <laughs> the justice card was clarified with the page of pentacles in reverse. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, nothing that this person is doing is going to get off the ground, okay? When it comes to their uh, they finances or whatever they, they try to work on, nothing is going to happen for them. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? This is like a whole missed opportunity. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? Thank you, spirit. Ten of swords. There's an ending here. The devil. Ooh, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. And what it says, um, the devil, toxic habits, addictions, self-sabotage, poor decisions. And when I started to read it, I, spirits, I, I channel, whoever this person is, spirits said they can't, they, you can't, they cannot be around you. They're being blocked from your energy. They have to be, uh, this is just something. They cannot go with you. Why? Because this person has nasty habits. Oh, okay. Empress. You got an emperor that's coming in. The emperor to the queen of cups. Mm. Somebody coming in to love you. Some of you people could, I mean, some of you, um, um, some of you, um, sunseeds could share, um, a, a child with this person. Because I'm looking at the Queen of Cups to the Six of Cups. Mm. The Fool card. What's under that? Seven of Wands. Yeah. So I don't. I feel like it's just multiple people feeling like they're being blocked from your energy. And they don't know why. It's like, it's like they don't know why. Why is I being blocked? Why can't I come in and, you know, run circles around this person or, or play with this person and act like I really mean them well, knowing I don't? How do they know? How do they know? How, how, can, how, can, how is this person so standoffish to my energy? It's because this person's crown chakra is on a one, honey. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I'm hearing whoever this person is or these people is, that is it for them, okay? Because somebody keep playing in, in a high priestess energy. A high priestess, okay? Or high friend. Take it how it resonates. You know, somebody keep playing in someone's energy that's held in high honor. And it's not fair. It's not fair at all. And because, yeah, I heard this, yeah. I heard this, a big problem, Bo. A big, this is a big problem when it comes to the divine. Is This is a big problem. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got new, new everything. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Somebody could be going to trial for something. Somebody feels like you can help them, Sunseeds. Mm, mm -mm. Spirit said no. But this person envies you. Okay? This person only just want, the, want help. Somebody wants to strike. Ooh, child. Let me see. Let's pull one of these cards before we close. Before I close it up. Have you guys been a hermit? That's not going to be the Lord. I'm telling you. Spirit is about to bring somebody out, out of hermit. 
Somebody is not meant to just be a hermit forever. With the three of cups, the nine of pentacles, the three of the three of I'm sorry, the three of cups. I seen the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Yeah, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and three of cups. Yes, yeah, spirit wanted you in hermit at one time, but. You are you are supposed to be interacting with people, you know, um, of your vibration, of your you know your vibration, you know, mingling with people, getting to know people, being out, and some whoever I'm talking to, you a teacher, you know, you a healer, you a helper. You could be going, spirit could be sending you to the grocery store, or or sending you to um, sending you to a festival, or sending you to um, Publix or Costco, or Walmart, whatever. And you don't know why you being led there, but it's something that you gotta say. Maybe somebody who's there who needs needs your teaching, needs your help. Okay, somebody is not meant to just be in hermit. They are meant to, you know, the spirit put you in hermit for all right for a season, but now it's time to come out. It's time to celebrate. It's time to you know do your thing. And somebody also is not meant to be alone with that nine of pentacles. Okay, somebody is about to have a new love, a companion. Somebody is about to be out. Outside, out, out here. <laughs> yes, and this person, ah, uh -uh, spirit said this person that envies you. They, and this is a with that community with the despair. Yeah, somebody is poised, poised and loyal hearts. I can't make it up. Poised and loyal hearts. Somebody is the truth. Somebody got evidence of how loyal you are. Okay. Wow. Somebody knows. Okay, so whoever this new new is, yeah, thinker, and to be fair, to be fair is my justice card. And this observer with this fox on this card, this observer with this fox, that's that person that envies you. Mm -hmm. Whoever that, whoever that group of people are that envies you, because it ain't just one, it's a group. Okay, you was being guided to move away. People, places, and things, okay, because uh-uh. Yeah, that fox on that card is a lot of envy. So don't worry about that. You know, that comes with it. I don't know. All this cards upside down or what? Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah. Flexible. I just heard teachable. Yes. So you still always show up as a student. Mmm. I love that for you. Smart. Forever learning. Forever learning. Anything else on the spirit? Well, child. Yeah, messaging the bottom. You got a message out here twice. We seen it earlier, we seen it now. Come to the edge. And blessed. You're blessed. With this leg up, I feel like you're blessed by the divine. The divine is blessing you. But somebody's about to message you with this come to the edge. Come to the edge just gives me like um like the food card, taking a leap of faith. Um and with this flexible, it also could just be with this message in the bottle to come to the edge, which is give me the fool card. Somebody could feel like a fool. Well, this person that's going to message you, they could be feeling like a fool, okay, for not being flexible before in the past. But Spirit has said this person envies you. They envy you and they blame you because whoever this person is that still want this relationship with you, because this person feel like they still in love with you, Sunseeds. And I always tell y'all, it don't be the people. It don't be the people. That's like, it's, it's be the spirit that's on them. Mm hmm Yep. And this person sees, well, blessed and leg up. This person is doing bad. And they feel like with this blessed car, you being so blessed and leg up, somebody feel like you can help in the system. Spirit said, hell to the no. Not when they don't, they don't mean my baby well. No. Yeah, somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity. Five of Pentacles, four cups of the five of Pentacles. This person is some type of financial hardship, homelessness, poverty, bankruptcy. They need some type of help and assistance, and they feel like you the one. And they out here envy you, Spirit said. No, 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 no. That's not how this gonna go down. That's not how to give me a card on the five of Pentacles. I'm still going for you guys, so I see. I know I love y'all. Yeah, five of pentacles clear five with the eight of pentacles. <laughs> Woo. Look, somebody wants you to work with them and help them out of this rut, whatever situation they in. They want you to work with them and help them out of a situation. Five of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Somebody also could have went from rags to riches. And somebody could be feeling like somebody could be wanting you to help them 
like how did it look? Three of swords to the two of cups. I'm getting like somebody wants you to help them. Somebody could have went through, you know, maybe somebody was down and out at one time. And they worked on themselves. Um, and they, it's like they pulled themselves out of that. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the truth. Somebody watched Five of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Five, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could have went to, went to Rags to Riches. Okay. Two of Cups to the Three of Swords. After um, a, a relationship. So maybe you went through a heartbreak situation with someone. And then after that, you had a major glow up. You put your focus on yourself and your craft, you know, your work. Yeah, you got some type of breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. And with the Four of Cups, somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity. Because whoever this person is, um, this person didn't want to take a leap of faith with you in the past. No. And now somebody feels like a fool for not taking this leap of faith because somebody watched your glow up now. Ooh. Yeah, eight of pentacles, two of pentacles, ten of pentacles, mm, six of swords. Yeah, six of swords to the six of cups. You was guided to move away from your past to calmer waters. A lot of people didn't, yeah, seven of swords. It could have been a whole community, a whole family, a whole, you could have even been guided to leave a job. It's like people were stealing from you, scheming. Lying, taking what the divine, like, yeah, the will of fortune, the empress. Wow. It's like now whoever these individuals are, whoever you was, you know, and you know, a soulmate could be anybody. Sure, so soulmate could be your own kids, okay? Your your family. It's whoever you got love for. This is this this two of cups, whoever this person is, you know who I'm speaking to that you was in relation with two of cups and three of swords. It was not easy. It was not easy. Somebody, this heartbreak took them through it. Okay. You probably been hurt before, but it was something about this heartbreak that it, it hurt it. It hurt it. And it changed your whole life. And somebody counted you out. And now somebody want to come back and spend a block and want you to help them or show them how you did it? Will of Fortune to the Empress? Oh, child. Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Judgment, Three of Wands. You made a final decision to the Chariot about this situation. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before I go? Ten of Wands. To the three of cups you feel like look, something will be too ten of wands to the, the three of cups something will be too stressful to reconcile with whoever these individuals are because they hurt you you ain't deserve that somebody could have been trying to make some somebody could have found out about a secret lover or somebody could have found out that somebody was trying to make them a secret lover yeah this is a whole this is about the whole message that I picked up on from the beginning. No place like home. Yang. Whoever whoever this masculine is. They feel like it's no place like home but with you. Yeah, time for a nap. Higher power. Spirit about to sit this person down. For some of you guys, it might be jail. Or it might be this person ripped up of everything that they put before you. Ooh, child. I love you, Sun Seeds. I love you guys too very much. I hope this reading definitely helped you guys. I hope it resonates. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. I just could not stop. Sun Seeds, I just kept, I was being called to keep going for you guys. I love you, Sun Seeds. Later.